Well, hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and welcome back to Seed Saving Wednesday. Actually, today's Saturday, I'm filming this today, but I saw something in the garden that kind of wanted to go take care of it. And this is um, definitely something for seed saving stuff. So I've got some of my rutabaga seeds, looks like they have completely dried out. And so I want to go ahead and get those harvested before they start breaking open themselves and uh, falling in the garden. So let me turn you around, show you what I'm talking about and uh, we'll get some of these harvested. So if you can see, some of these guys here are nice and green, but then these guys back here are pretty dry and they feel dry to the touch. So I wanna go ahead and get a bunch of these guys harvested and uh, take them inside and see how many seeds we can get and see what they look like. So let me see if I can get you on a tripod and get this to go in and pull out harvest these. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to bust that one open like that, but I think that's all the dry ones that I'm currently seeing right now. Although I am seeing some this is one, for example, here. Looks like it's already split open. Uh, and, oh, it's still got some seeds, huh? Still got some seeds and stuff in there. I just felt one come hit on my arm. So I'm, I'm afraid I may, may have already had a lot of seeds go down and uh, go ahead and drop off the plant. Whether they're viable or not yet, I don't know. But let's uh, take these inside and see what we can actually get and how many seeds we actually get from this. So hey guys, here I am back in the kitchen. This is that one branch I told that we picked off. I want to take one of these. And let's kind of see what we got going on the inside. I don't think they're ripe yet, but we'll kind of take a look and see. I've got a 
kind of a bowl here to c collect everything. Let me see if I can lower you a little bit and see if we can get this in. All I'll do is just kind of peel that back. I don't know if you can see, but these seeds that are in here are actually still kind of green. They're not real brown. So those are not mature yet. And so I'm going to leave those as is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go put these in the compost bowl over here real quick. And being I'm pretty sure these are all still green, I'm going to drop this whole batch into the compost bowl and we'll uh, take that back out to the compost or feed it to the chickens. That might be probably the better thing is I'll just go feed that to the chickens later. So what I'm going to do now, I've got these guys I'm going to kind of just take some of these dry ones I don't know how many I think I can, might be able to just kind of pull this open yeah and just from one that I just did It's already seeds, and those are probably viable. So I'm going to go through these, see how many we get, and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, so I've finished uh, cleaning these guys up, and uh, kind of want to show you how many we got. Hopefully I can... There we go. That's how many we got just from that little bit of stuff. And you see, saw how many more are actually on the uh, on the plant. I want to go through and count these and see, kind of get an idea just how many are there. I know I'm kind of anal like that, but I kind of want to see. But some of these may still be green and uh, not, you know not viable because we'll we'll kind of check that and see. At some point, I'll have to do some kind of a germination test to see how many of these actually germinate. So. Let me go count them and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I don't know what I was thinking. Trying to count these is like trying to count um, sand on the beach or something like that. It's like, you know, they move around and being in nice round seas, they move around real easy. Trying to count them is almost impossible, but I'll tell you, it's probably more than you buy the seed packet. The original seed packet I bought was from Haas Tools, and they say that there's a hundred seeds in there. I'm going to guess there's over 200 just in this little bit right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let these dry out a bit and uh, see where they go. But uh, yeah, that's just from just a handful of pods from the, from the root of And there's a, still a ton more to go. One thing, though, that you, um, I did notice, a lot of them, when they dry out, once they dry out, they start splitting open pretty quick. So that's one thing you need to kind of pay attention to is you know when they start drying out they need to start getting picked pretty quick because otherwise they're going to be splitting and dropping seeds everywhere and your rutabagas will be reseeding themselves now how well they reseed I don't know but um, we'll find out I've got a feeling a lot we'll see a whole lot of rutabagas coming up in the fall so yeah, that's a lot of um, a lot of seeds already, and we'll continue collecting them as they continue to dry out. I know we've had a ton of rain, which has kind of made it a little bit difficult, but uh, especially to find out if they're dry. And I've seen some other videos, and they just go out there and rub their hand over the, over the uh, stalks, and you know they wait till they all dry out. I don't think I can do that here because you got some that are dry and some that are green all on the same stem. So that I don't think that's going to work real well doing that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, this is just a rutabaga seed saving. So God bless. Have a great week. And we'll see you on the next video.